So hi, I haven't done any limits before, and I am currently recording the start of chapter five, season three. I am immensely excited for this. I am um, been kind of preparing for it in some ways. I've read, listened to Moby Dick. I've also been even doing some pirate reading, uh, partly for my own interests, because I do have an interest in pirates and such. But I got into this in, I want to say July, August-ish? And I went ham. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure this is all working. Okay. My PNG is here, which isn't normal for my visual recordings, but I do. I did kind of want it here, partly because I also drew Gigi for this. Gigi has his special hat made up for the uh, Soda Ego. Yes! Yes! Based on the colors, I definitely don't think I got Gregor's. I got two Yoshis. <laughs> and a Kodokuma. Oh. Okay. Build that up. Return. I'm alright with this. Uh, so. Oh yeah, one thing I should also maybe talk about a little bit before I start really getting into the chapter. I have some predictions. A little bit based on the preview, a little bit based on just reading Moby Dick. Um, one Ishmael is supposed to be the only survivor of the crash. I am wondering and almost kind of hopeful that if her crew does return at all, it's going to be through like a Davy Jones kind of Davy Jones bringing her crew up, up or some sort of like zombie ghost ship of the former of the Pequod kind of thing. I think it's more interesting that way in some degree, if you want to still include them directly in the story and not just have them be a, a flashback kind of thing. That's where my brain is at for those kind of things. Especially since there is a pirate motif to some things as well with Gregor and whatnot. Uh, that Gregor identity especially, so that's where my brain is at for it. Uh, I can't think of much other else, but definitely with like the pirate stuff, I'm I'm wanting to see some sort of Davy Jones aspect of coming up from of a mm, semi mythological uh, entity bringing the crew back and being sort of the I won't even maybe call them the direct antagonists. They don't really need to be that, but potentially being sort of an antagonist rather than the whale itself because the whale itself even in Moby Dick is just like the focal point but it's just there to be hunted and yeah it causes damage but it's also being hunted and in some ways defending itself in that in those instances so having a more direct version that they can um, talk with potentially is where it kind of lays out for me okay but now that I've done sort of my little bit of hopes and semi predictions we will finally get in two five one enter Uh, it hasn't been that long since this bus, I mean, bus boat, was hounded by the sirens and the flashing green lights. Uh, the sinners were still sitting uncomfortable. 
simply trying to get some shut-eye eye in the ship's cabins, formerly known as the Bus Cabins. The thought of returning to their room didn't seem to occur to them. After gazing out the window for a while, Faust came to her feet and approached the helm, formerly known as the wheel. We have received a signal. Faust? Oh god, you sound... <laughs> I thought we were over this. I thought we had calmed. The long away it signaled. <laughs> he still sees it. Oh no! <laughs> ah, thank you. is very excited for this. Don't say anything, not even alarm. Actually, Sinclair has a point. A smoke signal. Okay. Ah. Uh, to be clear, I'm not gonna read everything in a loud. I know it's technically not all voice acted in English. Or really isn't voice acted in English, but it's gonna be a lot of my I do I don't wanna say it and not be able to hear them as they're saying things, so it's more of I'll read things that have nothing or just Dante stuff. For the most part, everything else is going to be me reacting and probably some clip notes version of what they said. Okay. Sailing is a go. Splish splash instead of vroom vroom! Ah, oh, Jaron! I love you. You're so cute, I think. Don't closer what we call the Great Lake approach. Okay. Activating automatic navigation system now. What we experienced so far is not the Great Lake. Okay, so it was. But we've been inside the Great Lake borders. Yeah, it hasn't liked. No real threats. After all that, so <laughs> Dunkey's <Dunkirk's> just <laughs> like, really? I mean, Yi Song seasick isn't this is not necessarily a threat. Oh god. Oh, his poor... Yi Song's poor... Oh, the well... I... Well, pure it's not... I don't remember how to say it! Well, pretty night? Something like that? Well, pretty night. Yeah, those weren't related to the lake itself. Aside from the seasickness a little bit, but that's not necessarily a threat. The, the danger from the Great Lake. False calls fell. I'll see. <laughs> Also, Madu spoke. Ani, we am going to get to the top. It's a moment to go. Kinjang Sante to repair and double. I thought everyone was awake or trying to sleep, might have been the better. Otis, come give it defensive station. What? Ah, uh, Otis. 
뭐야? 아, 심장 보는 줄 알았네. My heart drop first. 오피스 이대는 자동으로 오는 길이 있어. Ships come to ship by automatic navigation. 마주할 수밖에 없다면 경고가 울릴 거예요. Automatically avoid any great threats the Great Lake may pose. Should a threat prove to be unavoidable, it will sound an alarm. Oh, that's... I thought we had the automatic navigation system prior. Oh no, probably not. Charon just drove wherever. I know that the path of a sailor is fraught with dangerous unknown. Thank you. Don't. <laughs> yeah, Otis is from the Odyssey, so there is some seafaring, which does really make me question why she doesn't have any new identities at the moment. <laughs> I'm no commander, I'm your captain. She continued before I even had the chance to reply. Yeah, like it mattered. <laughs> A little bit of this attitude is why I pushed Otis further down on my list of favorites. <laughs> It went from kiss as it was a bit of just very nice to kiss as to okay. After an indeterminate amount of time, Mark moves the fundamentals of sailing. Have you been taking your notes? Slur snore. Tero. <laughs> Don Q's happy at least. It's an exact number of aspirations. Sinclair? So... Complicated looking lever. Huh? Y'all don't touch anything. Especially not you, thank you. <laughs> don't. <laughs> we don't maybe throwing cannonballs nowhere. He's... A lever of transformative variety. The auspicious day that we are availed of this contraption in action. Otis? Otis? <laughs> Okay, it is a little disappointing that my PNG thing is covering name. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a good spot to move it to. Hmm. Let me just maybe move a little further over with Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> I'm for sure convenience breeds increased risk. There's nothing that the end of this road paved 
over-reliance on the bleeding edge technologies. Yeah, Oats' ship would have been, like, Greek mythology, so rowing, not mechanical, like, what they're on now. But what? But what? Sinclair, you thought that was cool? Really? I feel like that means that there's an enemy nearby. Prove it to the world. I take junk to sale. <laughs> No. Don't order Don Q to touch anything on the boat. This already sounds bad. Neutral positions at the helm. The neutral position. The engine has fallen silent. That's not good. No. Everybody will be complete in approximately five hours. Oh, good lord. That's what you get for abandoning your bus driver. Yeah, call him out, Gerald. Wait, wait. So, we're just stuck here? When the stuff leaves engine, maybe operable as molded with the automatic navigation system, the ship itself can still move. Manually activated back power system on standby. Oh, is this where the 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 pedaling preview thing comes into play? Uh, the engine came to a spinning hull, so the seafaring leisure reached its climax. But we still have so much to go. This image reminds me of Velvet Room. Right leg on heave, left leg on hoe. It is absolutely the bike sequence from the preview. Eve? Oh! Eve? Eve? Oh, how is... <laughs> can't blame Heathcliff for this one. The <laughs> most dim what he quests, and he has the most preserved strength. <laughs> That's precisely why I'm refraining from putting in this collaborative effort myself. Dante, I feel you. Since when you were you are commander? Well, she did say she's the captain, not the commander. Ryoshu? Even Rio is getting pissed off the sequels. Keep the sequels and have them build the chapters. I don't know what they had in mind. Oh, I guess they had to build the chapters. I don't think they have the right legs for it. Oh, Charlam Post to share. Chuck Chuck Puck Saramio. Kajong Degi Surin. Ni Mario Kumbang took down Mandor and Ashin and Ganya. Kurgan and Anisman. Kim sent Tarazel. Kitus again, Pavian Huyan Batash Kayan. They'd have to be bathroom trained before they could be a proper source of labor? Karun, 
Cannon's board. Cannon wants the vroom vroom. She said, fuck it. Oh, mom. Calm down, do now. Kramen Peruga Kamanita and Tende. Ganda Mabuspo. Well, get that night, Virgil. ちゃんちゃんに、ちゃんちゃんにビジボ。ガイルズアルプレット。はい、ウェイルキットアモルヨガメザ。パルジョンギルトリウイスエニアイデー。クンボンジョギンワニルタジボジャンマリア。ね。
Leaving the zone takes precedence. Our last conversation was those seven minutes. Can we get a pedaling? <laughs> or possibly fit some thing kilometer. It kilometer. Kill. Um, I want to say kilometers away from the edge of the zone. Oh, as the crow flies. These fish must pedal to generate enough energy to travel at least 10 kilometers per an hour if we are to escape in time. Wonderful. Oh, I'd love to see some proper teamwork once, Virgil. Please! And there it is. Where's it? Can I get our energy for him? Gregor's dying. Oh, wait. I thought in the preview art, it was... Meru in front of Ryoshu. But he's behind her. <laughs> Need to wear. We're on a ship. He seems fine. <laughs> Diaphragmatic breathing is conductive to maintaining consistent speed and in, in an exercise of this intensity. Especially more so for each of is responsible for its out chem liters per hour of energy output. Any higher and would require hypernia to maintain no speed. Do you ever get tired, girl? Number three, three minutes remaining. She said there's no time to step on it with your life. Sharon mm. wants a vroom vroom. This is squeak squeak. <laughs> squeak squeak. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't know how energizing work songs could be. How do you guys have so much energy left? Oh, is this is my warm up compared to the training your family used to do? Hard loop! <laughs> Shut your gobs and pedal. 30 seconds remaining? 30 seconds. <laughs> The extra judgment from the seagull. <laughs> I don't see you song anywhere. Like him and Ishmael are the only two missing in this image, at least. Same for words. You're breathing. Remain in the flow. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. <laughs> How much time? <laughs> oh, you don't want that answered, Gregor. <laughs> Ten seconds. Great. Four. Four. Why are you not doing this by multiples of five? I kind of feel that. Toil, men, toil. So I managed to escape the zone before Faust counted down to zero. Some centers immediately threw themselves to the deck of the ship like limp puppets. It's like some. Um, look like that they had just taken a quick rest at the park, park bench. So we made it somehow, but... Uh, I don't see any signs of those laws. Am I missing something? Frau... Frau? He starts saying Frau and then changes it to Faust? <laughs> I thought the name was just... Unless it's a term added to Faust, Frau Faust. 
Where's all the great... It, Law of the Great Lake Drivel with some Hogwarts who made it up. Just to make the stream go a tad faster, I'm going to seriously... Nicholas, I forgot we had just passed her, was gone, and so was never even there. This place was an immense something, and innumerable legs or tentacles writhed rising above of the lake's surface. I could not even tell uh, where the thing ended and where the, where the lake began. Did it burst from the lake, or, or were traveling unaware Arizona's body the whole, this whole time? I couldn't even find the right words to describe the magnitude of that thing. Its appearance sent waves across the water or all the way to the zone we were in. Mustafali shook violently as though it was about to capsize. It need not be said that the sinners on deck were given even an untimely shower. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think a little bit more than pancake. <laughs> no <laughs> <you> peril. Man, you don't tell you, night in my snacks. And B, no, that's more like it. And B, I know, is I'm at least 90% sure it's not bad. Man, you took us your little humble dog on your car, you and Damien. Swimming a single stripe from one of its limbs. It's that strong? Ani, Chogosun, Igo Sesson, Muri, Labor de Goda. It will leave us alone as long as we are here. Kuge, Tehusue, Kuchikanika. That is the law of the Great Lake. Ize, Mirodotan Sana Rasi Kekunyo. Now we have time for my explanations. You saw Tehusue Kuchikun Yorobatiman. Chigan Pigo and Sana will Kandana Gumarajo. The laws of the Great Lake are numerous. I will relay all of the pertinent information for now. Lingering longer than a predetermined amount of time in a single lake will cause one to be struck by the waves of each lake. Waves. That didn't look like any waves I've seen before. There are also laws governing the time and direction in which ships are permitted to cross the borders between the lakes. So, if we ever just come to a stop for a bit, that octopus tentacle like thing will whack us? Precisely. This naturally follows that everything on the Great Lake is in a constant state of motion, motion to position itself according to the laws. And the route toward our destination will also change accordingly. Can I get like a written list of these laws? My nan asked me to take a piece of paper with our family rules in my room. Not that I could follow them all, but... That's when I heard a door open. Whoever opened it did with, uh, did it with obvious irritation. The waves finally hit, huh? Ishi. Ish Ishmael. After such a long period of isolation, Ishmael staggered out of her room at last. You can't just scribble the laws of Great Lake down on a notepad and call it a day. Each lake has a wildly different set of laws, and even the, oh, the overarching laws governing the Great Lake are all pretty straightforward. Oh! Unauthorized recording of their laws is one of U-Corp's better known taboos. So if you record the laws of the lake, you're breaking the law. <laughs> then my body will remember it. Tattooing them on your body, if that's what you're referring to, is also prohibited. <laughs> 
Cameron Hunter is a new group have been sent in pursuit of individuals who have attempted and did precisely that. It is best that we do not produce any written records of their laws. What have you been doing all this time, Ishmael? Wetting my harpoon. Your harpoon? Why? Because I need it to be sharper. Because I'll give her the kind of pain that makes her wish she was dead. She'll feel it even from the smallest cuts. Okay. There's a terror of the whale, but... And maybe that is who Ishmael's referring to. Ooh, but I'm also wondering if Ishmael's potentially wondering if they're going to end up coming across. Maybe the whale itself is partially a terror, but knowing that it is her section to some degree, I wonder if she's also assuming potentially something like Ahab. Great, she could still be talking about the whale, but I'm wondering if she could even potentially believe that they're going to come across someone from her past that she also wants revenge on. Which I would potentially give to someone like Ahab more. Because, hey, Ahab's pursuit of the whales what led to all that other trauma. Then why don't you just spare us your misery and crawl back into your hole? I'm afraid that if I did that, I'd later emerge to a deck littered with your melted, unrecognizable flesh. And I'm not rearing to see a sight like that again. Besides... And Landsman wastes time tinkering with a ship you don't even understand. Wasting precious time has been unbearable. Even though it's been a long time since the incident at the boat oh, works, her biting anxiety and lectures have not dulled at all. I'm afraid that she might stir up trouble among the sinners again. Okay, fine. But she was out here now with the rest of us, and I wanted to believe that that was more than enough. I decided not to question her further. I had a feeling this would happen. Ishmael walked up to the helm. We're still sailing at the moment. Northbound breeze is pushing us along. I guess it could look that way for some people. Simple, one-dimensional, predictable route under Earth like you. Wow, this is the most Ishmael has ever, like, Snapped back? How dare you insult this Otis? Otis, let's hear her out. <laughs> Swabby. Okay, Ishmael, tell us, how are we not smooth sailing? We got the wind at our backs. That's no wind. We're getting dragged. Direct by what? Those ships? Did we ignore ships pulling us? What? I've had to say cost, but that's probably because there haven't been an actual fight yet. <sighs> Uh, just like Ismael said, there were two messy ships that were approaching. Those are much bigger ships than us! <laughs> two massive vessels were approaching us not far from where we were. We're not exactly on a collision course with them, though. Ishmael didn't entertain me with an answer. Instead, she took the helm and threw it wildly to one direction. Whoa! The skill! Splashy drift? Didn't know ships could drift like a bus. Can't unimpress the redhead. Not bad. 
You have competition chair on. Hold up. That's weird. She turned the helm all the way. Why are we still headed between those two ships? It's like we're stuck on rails. So we should all turn the Mesosopheles helm around to the opposite direction of the two ships. We were getting dragged even faster by them. And there was nothing we could do about it. Don't tell me you hit the reverse gear. I turned the engine off. What? Are those ships melding into one another? You bloody loon, that's what you gotta say? We're about to get squashed like bugs. What happened to all that bravado from early? Shut up. I'm gonna use the momentum of the pool when it's strongest to get us out of here and. We're gonna crash. Now. Immediately before the crash, Ishmael deftly revved the engine and adjusted several levers in a series of decisive motions before speeding us between in and past the two vessels. The back of our ship. Ooh, that doesn't look good. The ship's turn was crushed, but it was better than getting us completely sandwiched between in those two ships. Okay, good thing Mephistopheles can repair itself for that much damage. He's more just some damage, it's like they deleted part of our ship. Going to Soda had never been part of the ship's blueprint. I took another look at where the stern used to be. It was as the sinner said, the stern wasn't crushed, it was effectively deleted as though it had never been there. It left a bizarre looking cross section behind. Q Corp Singularity, the Resonance Tuning Fork. Ships operating in the Great Lake can merge and separate when needed, as though they've been, they've always been a single vessel, as though, or as though they've never been part of, parts of the same ship. Resonance tuning forks used by vessels of that size are strong enough to pull in smaller boats without tuning forks like tuning forks like ours, or even ones with tuning forks with missed match wavelengths. Ah, 이런 명령이 내려지지도 않았는데 운전대를 잡게 되었네요. All right, apologies for taking the helm without your orders, manager. No, don't. You just saved all of our lives. 뭐 그러려던 건 아니긴 하지만요. I wasn't trying to, but thank you for understanding anyway. Oh, please. Um, please accept my apology for giving unsolicited advice. Certainly somebody would stop flapping her gums at me, so I had to. It's not like I can plug my ears in the middle of a voyage, right? <laughs> Yeah, so, sorry, Otis, since we're on a ship that has all the mechanical junk, Ishmael's the more experienced of you two right now. Okay, I'm well, just gonna take a break. Okay. Down cast and shoulder slums, I'll just make our way to the ship's cabins. Formerly the bus cabins. <laughs> 
유사의 오대 항구 중 하나인 청세치 항구선입니다. Our destination is near. Welcome to one of the five great ports of Ucorp, the Marlin Port. Fell's voice was dry and motionless, as though it had just happened, and didn't affect her one bit. Wow, that's so big. Now that's so big. 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 That 비로소 보이지 않던 것이 보이는구려. 이런 거. Oh, I didn't fully read. 저 정도 규모면. Ship, I don't know if we can call that a ship at this point. Can't help but agree there. Ishmael, does that count as a ship in the Great Lake? 대호수에서 자꾸 육지 상식을 꺼내봐야 소용 없어요. Your last man common sense is useless at the Great Lake. Ships we use as new to new forts are like the those are as common as crimes are in the back streets, or I guess as common as the whales are in the Great Lake. How do I look so peaceful? 